welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would update you guys on a few things that are happening. I have been so MIA on YouTube lately because I've had a whole lot of stuff going on. I've gone through a separation. I am going through this soulful, spiritual journey, finding myself again, and just like treading the water and navigating where I wanna be in life and the best version of myself. Um, so today I thought I would actually update you guys on everything that's going on. I I feel like it's well overdue for a sit down video. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Tiana. I do lifestyle, motherhood and cleaning videos and it's super, super exciting times. So if you love a bit of change, then definitely consider subscribing because my life, it's a little unpredictable at the moment, not gonna lie. Um, so I think we'll start in with a little update on how things are going. We are now in the new house, all settled. We have our furniture in, which is super exciting. I did have to buy a fridge and a washing machine and a bed. And we do have to like decor and furnish Theodore's room, but he does have a bed and that is the main thing. Very comfortable bed too. So I did not go cheap on the mattresses guys, because. You spend a lot of you spend a lot of hours on them. So I am still adjusting to life as a solo parent. It's very very different, and my heart goes off to you parents that are single and doing it on your own. I have it pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Isaac is just 15 minutes down the road, and his work is five minutes away. So he is kind of on call, and we are trying to co-parent. 50-50 as much as possible, however, because Isaac works full time and my work is very flexible, um, it just means that I do have Theo naturally more than what he would. So Isaac gets Theo on a Saturday at 12 o'clock and then drops him off at school on a Monday and then I pick him up from school and we will be doing either weekly or fortnightly sleepovers on a Thursday. So he also goes to school on a Thursday and I, I do drop offs and I think Isaac will pick him up because again, it's all within the same area, which is really, really convenient. Um, and that gives Isaac and Theo that one more day to spend time together as a family, which is so important. We do want to incorporate family days together, maybe once a fortnight or a few times a month. I think it's really important for Theo's adjustments. As for Theo, I'm really trying to nurture his adjustment period because I know it can be so confusing and hard on like such young children and he's kind of in that weird transitional stage where he understands that something's going on but he doesn't quite understand what exactly is happening. Um, so we're trying to communicate to him and explain it to him in our best way possible and just make the ease of this transition so much easier. So I, I understand that like he's going through a lot of mood swings at the moment and I'm trying to just really guide him through his emotions. Um, I think it's so, so, so important when you have young children or any children at any age to try and just be open with them through communication without giving them any worries, just like guiding them through that. So that is something that I've been really working hard on and really prioritizing making this change a really positive change and not negative. So that is one thing that I've kind of just been um, putting a lot of my focus into actually, um, which is why I've kind of stepped off the YouTube platform for a little bit, not too much. And Instagram, I've definitely stepped back a lot. Um, if you do follow my personal account, I was a very, very activist um, freedom speaker. And now I think I just need to focus on uh, what is happening in my life at the moment. And that's so okay if you are going through something like this you just have to really nurture yourself and nurture your children and your babies through this time because it's change is hard for everyone 
and it can be really beautiful and exciting but it can also be overwhelming and I have really been going through the ebbs and flows of things and I've had lots of moments where I'm really happy and I'm really content with my decision on my life at the moment but I've also had moments where I feel overwhelmed and it's not that I regret my decision I don't at all it feels so authentic and right to do that but I think I do tend to get overwhelmed by the um, responsibilities that are on my shoulders now. For example, um, and I really don't like to worry about money, but I have full financial responsibility for myself now. Whereas when you're in a partnership, um, it, it's sharing the load. So I definitely have to step up my game a little bit and that's exciting guys. Like I'm so excited because for me doing this allows me to get very creative and really step into that entrepreneur role, which I've always wanted to do, but never really had the push to do it. Um, so with that said, I am going back to full-time YouTube and I'm going to try and aim for five to six videos a week, which is almost one every day. I'm so ready for the challenge, guys, and I have a few goodies up my sleeves. I'm actually going to be starting a new series, which is so exciting. It's revolving around cleaning, of course, but with that said, there's going to be a handful of vlogs, cleaning videos, um, updates and motherhood content and um, yeah like I guess life as a solo parent I think that's really interesting to document this journey because um, I was actually thinking about um, the way things were going and I realized that I've never actually lived on my own as an adult I've always had family around me and I've always been with Isaac so this is new territory for me and that's really really exciting it's cool it, it it's cool to make this space truly mine, but it's very much, um, yeah, it, it can get a little, it can get a little scary guys, not gonna lie. But that was one reason why I did decide to move into an apartment instead of a house was that extra security. I don't know what it is, but I guess because there's people beside me, there's people on top of me, I just feel very secure here. There's security doors and I think, um, when it comes to like living alone, your safety is like your number one priority. I did decide to pick an area that is a little bit more expensive to live in, but I feel very, very comfortable here. And I feel comfortable being alone and being alone with my child here, which is so important because if I went for those cheaper rentals in those uh, not, not bad areas, but not as good as this, I think I definitely would be in a more anxious state. And I feel like when you're in an anxious state, you can't be the best version of yourself. But yeah, I'm really excited because there's lots and lots of things happening. I am getting back into working again. I haven't worked for two and a half months, guys, since the miscarriage. If you are new here, I actually do newborn photography and it was very triggering for me. I didn't feel like I could be in that headspace to work around babies after losing my pregnancy. Um, so I did take a step back and I did a little bit of behind the scenes, but not too much. This week, we basically officially started and we've been going at it hard because it's go hard or go home. And we're, yeah, lots of exciting things are happening revolving around that. I won't get into my business too much though because I feel like um, this platform isn't really the area to do that. But speaking back to YouTube, I'm really excited to rekindle our YouTube relationship with this community and get back into um, really being authentic and um, taking you through this journey because there's lots happening. So I just wanted to take the time out to basically update you guys and um, catch you up to speed with where I'm at and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little update. I hope you're excited for what's to come and thank you to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. I'm 
normally a lot more active in the comments but i've just had a lot going on so i do apologize and i will try and get back to each and every one of you and i love you guys thank you so much for supporting me and thank you for supporting me through this transitional time and having my back because that is one thing i have to say about this community i have never felt so nurtured and loved in my life without you guys i don't know where i would be so i just really want to take the time out and appreciate appreciate every one of you guys and allowing me to be my authentic self with all that said i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you and i will see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>